Oh, it feels so good to be at 100% again. God, I just got here. No, this planet's already annoying me. Anyway, welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon White. In the last episode, I shown you the rest of the east part of Univer. And now, I have my team at a certain level with a certain moveset that I believe can beat the Elite Four. As you can see, some of them are already higher levels than they are because I've had two failed takings where I've lost. Anyway, so Halberd, level 67. Yeah, sorry, it was supposed to be level 66, but never mind. Anyway, so, uh, Halberd, really good attack, really great everything, and uh, it's got the Dragon Fang, <laughs> as usual. And its move says, X is an Earthquake, Swords Dance, and Outrage. Oh, by the way, um, I, uh, during the two parts, uh, off screen, I actually got a load of TMs that are actually quite useful. Um, from certain areas, and I went to the move reminder to give Kai a move. Anyway, so we've got that. Marley! Uh, the elemental spiritual being that he is. Has a spell attack to increase ghost type moves. Has 226 special attack with Shadow Ball, Energy Ball, Flame Burst, and Psychic. Uh, I was thinking, why don't I get Flamethrower? Then I thought, nah, screw it. I've pretty much spent the entire day leveling this team, which by the way is really difficult to try and do in Generation 5. This is without rare candy cheats as well. Um, and I just thought, screw it, I'm just gonna leave it with Flame Burst, to be honest. Ugh. Anyway, so, Kai, level 67, uh, good attack, good defense, good uh, special attack, good health, and it's got the Rocky Helmet, because Rocky Helmet's fun. What can I say, Rocky Helmet's just fun to use. It's got Surf, Ice Beam, Toxic, and Mega Horn. Uh, Toxic, just in case you go up against a really tough Pokemon, it's gonna work quite well, I think. Next up, Envy. Uh, Psychic, Calm Mind, Energy Ball, and Shadow Ball. It's bulkier than Chandler, which is better, but it's got less special attack. It's got the Bright Power, so its moves will hit more. Next up is Wedge, uh, the bulkiest of my team. 187 defense, 173 special defense, and 179 health. And its moveset is Crunch, Head Smash, Brick Break, and High Jump Kick with the Black Glasses. By the way, high, uh, Head Smash, I believe, is a new move in this generation. Uh, might as well show you it. 150 base power, 80 accuracy. Uh, the user attacks the target with a hazardous full power headbutt. The user also takes terrible damage. So the user will take about half its health and damage, but look at that, 150 power. What can you say about that? And lastly, Griffith, with soft sand to increase the power of its earth moves, and even with its nerfs attack due to it being modest natured, it still has 202 attack. With its moveset being Exesa, Shadow Claw, Swords Dance, and Earthquake. All right, so let's do it. First off, we're taking on Cynthia again. Damn it, woman. So Cynthia, I've already had two failed recordings because Cynthia's beaten me both times. Last Pokemon, Cynthia's beaten me both times. So let's see how this one goes. Next up is first, well, first up is Spiritomb. Her lead, level seventy-five. Her spirit team likes to use either Will-O-Wisp or Double Team. Both moves suck. I'm gonna predict the Double Team and go Swords Dance. Pretty much sometimes she'll use Swords Dance, some sh or sometimes she'll use... Yes! Got it right this time. So sometimes she'll use Will-O-Wisp, sometimes she'll use Double Team. It all depends on, you know, how she's feeling really. In this case, she's feeling like a bitch because she keeps Double Teaming. That's plus two already. So her lead's pretty much just gonna be an evasive noob, which is dead already, one-hitted, level 75, one-hit the uh, Outrage because of the plus two and because Outrage is really bloody good anyway. I still put it down as being the best Dragon-type move in the game. I don't care what anyone says! Alright, my low tick. I'm gonna stay in here because I think I'm confident. I'm confident in Halberd's abilities. And that confidence is not misplaced! Yes! Milotic defeated! Next up is Garchomp. I'm gonna have to switch here because I know Garchomp is quicker. But! Garchomp's moveset, um... I don't know much about Garchomp's moveset. I can guess an Earthquake's in there. Like, you know, Dragon Rush, um, stuff like that. So... Oh, it goes to the Earthquake! I've always known for it to go Dragon Rush. That's different. Alright. It's not gonna kill me! Will this Ice Beam beat this four times weak to Ice Beam Land Shark? No, it is not. Luckily, it's at the point where Cynthia's gonna Forest Store, which is great. 
Right, this guard chomp's probably gonna give me problems, isn't it? Unless if I crit or freeze it, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have some problems here. It didn't crit, it didn't freeze. Bugger. And it kills me with a stone edge. Damn you! Blah! Alright, well I'm one down. Uh, what can take a hit? Wedge can take a hit! You little guard chomp man! You think you're good? Meet the power of my num 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 face. Meet the power of my nomming face. There you go. Nom face. And God Chomp is beaten at the hands of Wedge. Nice. Oh, level 67 for Wedge. That's a lot of experience as well. Nice. Three down. Next up, Bravery. Because America. All right. I, I usually don't have Marley at this stage of the match. So... I'm gonna bring out Marley! Yeah! Miss Chandelier! American Eagle thing. Alright, I'm gonna go for Flame Burst. Because I believe Bravery and Normal and Flying type. They are very strong. Oh yeah! And the Flame Body activates. That is even better. Because now, they're gonna do nothing. Critical hit and the burn kills Bravery! Screw you, Cynthia. You think you're better than me? Right, Electros. This is going to be a tough one, this is. So, I am going to... John, I'm going to go to Halberd. I think Halberd can take it. So, Electros uh, has no weakness. Um, this specific Electros has a very varied elemental moveset. Which, if you don't have an elemental moveset on your Electros, what are you doing with your life? Because, seriously, you can learn Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, I believe it can learn Ice Beam, it's got Dragon Claw! It's a nasty combination. Come on, Halberd, you can live that. Non-stab Dragon Claw, yeah! And then an Outrage! To finish it off! Alright, I believe she's down to her last Pokemon. And it's Lucario, I believe. So... Yep, it's Lucario. Her last Pokemon is Lucario. Griffith, you're up for this battle. It's five against one, I should win this. And by the way, my Pokemon are like 10 levels below hers. Just saying. Just saying, Cynthia. You're sort of getting your ass kicked here. Alright, there's the Aura Sphere. That might kill Griffith. Luckily, Griffith's, um... Yeah, Griffith's dead. Yeah, Griffith's dead. Um, luckily, Lucario's defense is not the best of things. So, all I need to do is survive a hit. And I've probably got it in the bag. I've probably got this match. Um... I'm gonna go for the Psychic, to be honest. There's the Dragon Pulse. So it's got Aura Sphere, Dragon Pulse, I believe it's got Close Combat as well. Uh, but anyway, so Psychic is gonna do normal damage. Not gonna do over half, which is what I wanted, but anyway, never mind. Dragon Pulse again. I noticed, by the way, that in the intro, Haxorus uses Dragon Pulse. What kind of Egypt uses a Dragon Pulse on their Haxorus? Seriously. Anyway, that Dragon Pulse is going to kill me, which is a shame. But fair play to Envy. Envy took, a, Envy took one for the team. Envy took quite a few for the team, actually. Right. Who's next? It's got to be Marley. It's got to be Marley. So, with Marley, I'm actually going to use a full restore. And I'm going to restore Wedge. Not sure if that was a good idea. I hope it is. Because if not, I've made, I've had a 5-1 lead go to nothing thanks to a Lucario of all things. Right. Come on, Wedge. You are the monster of surviving hits. I just need for you to survive this hit. It's an Aura Sphere, so it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be a big hit on Wedge. Damn it. Oh, no. No, this can't happen. This can't happen like this! I can't lose like this! Halberd, you are not quicker than Lucario. I know that for a fact. I can just tell that a mile off. You are not quicker. Kai is probably my best bet here. To survive. There's the Aura Sphere. Ah! Oh. Damn it. The problem is, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm down to one Pokémon. 
I mean, the best chance I've got is to go back into Envy. Why didn't I keep Aqua Jet? Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revive again, I'm gonna revive Envy. Because Envy can take those hits. And there's nothing that he can do to stop me, so, which is good. Alright, there's the Aura Sphere. Which is... gonna kill me. Alright. Alright. So here's the plan I've got. Envy is gonna come out, looking all awesome and stuff. Yeah. Sackboy and Jelly. And now I'm gonna full restore. I'm gonna full restore Envy. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. I just wasted a revive, but never mind. Anyway, it's gonna go for the Dragon Pulse, which is not gonna one hit me. It's not gonna two hit me either. So, as long as I can get a Psychic off, and as long as this Dragon Pulse doesn't crit me, if you crit me, Dragon Pulse, this control is going through my computer screen. Yes! And we did it! We beat Cynthia! Yes! The win goes to Envy! My heart is pounding so hard because I had such a heated battle with you. You're really a great trainer. Thanks. We won! That was beyond my expectation. One exceptional battle. You certainly bear a resemblance to that trainer who faced Giratina. Oh, pardon me. I was just thinking out loud. I love being here in spring and summer. I can't stay all year because there's so much to investigate in Sinnoh as well. You're a great trainer. And it would make us happy. It would make, it would make me happy to see you again sometime. Yeah, I'm sure it would, Cynthia. Good God! You nearly kicked my ass, you Lucario! I didn't think that of all Pokemon, Lucario would have kicked my ass. But it did! Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna heal up my team, and I'm gonna see you at the Elite Four, the Pokemon League. Switch! Alright guys, here we are at the Elite Four. Now trust me, this Elite Four battle is going to be nasty, because, um... They haven't got the same Pokemon as they originally did. No, they don't. So I'm gonna go and face Caitlyn first, because I see her as the easiest. Um, so she's gonna die first. She's gonna she's gonna die first. Yeah. This stream of psychic energy, unrealistic bullshit. Anyway, so if you remember, the Elite Four had just four Pokemon with them. It's like, why didn't they have six or five even? Now they have six. Who's there? Who's so uncouth to disturb my sleep? Hmm, it's you again. Still, you possess the combination of kindness and strength, yet you seem stronger than before. Do be sure not to bore me with a snooze-inducing battle, is that clear? Yeah, I guess so. You still haven't had a stupid haircut yet. What is up with that hat? Anyway, so, the first of the Elite Four, second time round, we have Caitlyn. She's got a Mashana. As last time, level 71. Yeah, some tough, some tough levels in this one now. So I'm gonna go for the crunch. And she's gonna withdraw Mishana. She always withdraws Mishana, by the way, because Mishana has nothing against Wedge. No moves that can damage Wedge. All they can do is Hypnosis. It's other moveset that makes them like, sh like Psychic and other crap like that. Psychic and Dream Eater and Hypnosis, so yeah, anyway. So pretty much, she just sacks her own Reuniclus. Good. Next up is a Sigilyph. I hate that Sigilyph so much. That thing is the haxiest bugger in Pokemon ever. That made me rage all throughout the day. Anyway, so. Luckily, I do know that one Shadow Ball is enough to beat Sigilyph from Marley and a Spell Tag. So, that Sigilyph is not a problem. Screw you, bitch. Right, Marley grew to level 67. Wow. Nice. Next up, Metagross. Right. Probably my best bet here is Halberd. Um, due to the fact that, well, Halberd's awesome. And he's got Earthquake, which is very useful. Alright, so... Yeah, so Metagross, one of the newer Pokemon from Generation 3, Steel Psychic type Pokemon. So, um, let's Earthquake it in the face. It's gonna hurt. I don't think it's gonna kill Metagross, but it's gonna hurt. Yep, it's gonna go for the Zen Headbutt. I would much prefer it go for the Zen Headbutt than go for the Giga Impact, which is another one of its moves, by the way. It's also got Bullet Punch, so... 
don't think that just because you're on low health, it needs to re that it's just finished recharging that you're going to be able to kill it. No, it it's just going to get you. Level 68 for Halberd, though, which is very good. Next up, Mashana's back again. So, um, hey, hey, Mashana, it's the guy you can't beat. What's up, Wedge? Show him your wedgie. Yeah. All right, so Mashana has got nothing on Wedge, which is quite good. And wow, she's actually going to stay in on this one. Okay, that's interesting. There's the crunch. Kills Mashana, one hit critical. I think that would have mattered, to be honest, but I'm happy I got Mashana out of the way. Next up is Gothitelle, going to stay in. Right, so Gothitelle's got Frisk. It's going to sadly Frisk my black glasses, which is a complete shame. And it's got Flatter, which raises my special attack, but makes me confused. And oh boy. Am I going to confuse myself? I knew it. I knew I was going to confuse myself because I always bloody do. Yeah, so we've got Thunderbolt. So no surprise if I get Paralysis as well. No, I get Critted on instead. Thank you so much. Right, the Crunch is going to be not enough to one hit Gothitelle, but she hasn't used her, potion, her full restore yet. So all I need to do is stay out of confusion and hit it again, and I've got it. Yes! Got it! Thanks to the defense lower, Crunch being a physical move in this game, that Gothitelle is dead. Well done, Wedge. Level 68 for Wedge. God, Wedge is just a monster. Let's be honest here. Next up is Bronzong. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm going to switch it to Kai, to be honest. Kai is a good bet. Uh, Bronzong's... Bronzong could be nasty. You know, it's got things like Flash Cannon, so it's dangerous. I'm just going to go for the Surf, because, well, why not? It's going to do a fair amount of damage. Psychic is going to do probably a lot of damage to Kai. Yes, but about the same amount, actually, so I'm going to Surf again. Luckily, I'm quicker, so, um, yeah, this Bronzong ain't got anything on me. Oh, God. I didn't even expect the payback, but it's not Stab, so it shouldn't kill me. Yeah, and Rocky Helmet damage! Screw you, Bronzong, you're about to lose. Yeah. And there you go, that's the first of the Elite Four beaten. Completed. Done. Gonzo. Defeated. Level 68 for Kai. Nice. Caitlin defeated. As you have have been, and more than ever, you're an elegant and excellent trainer. Your Pokemon have class. I'm very pleased to battle with you. Good. Alas, even with the knowledge and skill passed down from my family of trainers, I still can't win. The reason I came here in the first place was to counter a trainer like you. Thanks. Alright, let's carry on. Next opponent. First, healing. Because I need to heal. Alright, uh, where's my stuff? Luckily, no one, no one got hurt. Well, no one died, which is good. Um, but a lot of my team did get hurt. Kai got hurt. Wedge got hurt. Halbert definitely got hurt. And Marley got hurt. Not nice. Alright, next up. I'm going to switch Marley up front here. And we're going to be battling Chantal next. Let's do this! Ah, no, I'm being taken away by ghosts! This is horrible. This is horrible behavior. You should stop it right now. How dare you? Ah, oh, no! Broken leg. All right. Do you know Thunderbolt? Was his first greeting to me. It wasn't until after we battled that I learned his name was Volkner. That's part of a novel I wrote. Absolutely love writing about the close bonds between trainers who come here and the Pokemon they train. Could I use you and your Pokemon as a subject? Yes, and it'll say, Can I kick your ass, please? Signed, Master. Kiss, kiss. Winky face. Alright, Chantal has got Cofagrigus as a first Pokemon. Big surprise. Right, so. Cofagrigus versus Marley. Let's see who wins. I am quicker, which is good. But Cofagrigus is quite bulky, so that could be a problem. Or it couldn't be, because Marley's just a complete monster. Next up, Jellicent. Alright. 
Envy! I think you're up for this one. You are so up for it. Do, do, do. Right, so we've got this weird looking thing, which is very creepy. I'm gonna go for the Calm Mind. See if I can survive two hits. Probably not. Probably not. Nope. Maybe with the Calm Mind I can. Possibly. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? Because here comes a Shadow Ball. Oh yes, and I avoid the attack. Yes. There's a Shadow Ball to your face. Does ooh half. The beginning is always important for both battles and novels. Sure is. I'm gonna switch it up. Oh, and I avoid it again. Yeah! Energy ball! Kills it! Curse body, that's fine. I'm gonna switch Envy out probably anyway. Frostlass. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna switch. Marley, you're back in. Alright, Marley versus Frostlass. Frostlass is a Generation 4 Pokemon. Evolves from Snow Runs, I believe. It is dangerous. Ice and ghost type. I'm gonna hit it with a shadow ball. Oh, it's gonna hit me with a shadow ball. That's not good. Can I survive a shadow ball? Yes! Now my shadow ball! Can you survive a shadow ball? No! Yes! Victory for Mali! Dun, dun, dun. Next up is Go Look. That's fine by me because, um, well, Kai's got this. Kai has so got this. Right. So, Go Look. We know Go Look by now. Brr, big ass thing. Surf time. Ooh, bit of lag there as well. Surf! Surfing! See how you take that, Go Look. Okay, so I believe Go Look has Iron Fist. Which means any of its moves that evolves a fist does more damage. Which is why that did a lot of bloody damage. But Rocky Helmet kills it. Alright, nice. Speed lower, and then you get hit killed by a helmet. Useful. Right, last up is Drift Blim. Uh, hmm. Do you know what? Griffith is probably gonna kill it. I can see Griffith just going, I don't care, punch in the face. So, yeah, Griffith. I'm going for the Shadow Claw here. I'm quicker than it, which is good. And, come on, at least half. Yes, over half. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, <laughs> critical hit. Aftermath is going to do a little bit of damage, but I do destroy you. And last Pokemon is a Chandelure. Do you know I'm going to stay in? Griffith is a monster. I'm going to stay in. Oh, I guess it's time to start my last chapter. It sure is. And it's going to end with, oh god, I just got fire blasted in the face. Alright, I didn't expect for Chandler to outspeed me. I did not expect Chandler to outspeed an Excadrill. I didn't expect that. Alright. You want to go You want to go down that route, do you? That's fine by me. Kai, you're up now. Surf is going to do a lot of damage if I survive this Shadow Ball. I might not. You know, that's the problem. I might not survive the Shadow Ball. I, I don't survive the Shadow Ball. Okay, okay, okay. You really want to play tough, do you? You want to play dirty. Well, this guy shows his wedgie to everyone all day long, so um, good luck with that. If I seriously... Good. Head smash! Boom! In the face! That is going to one hit... No! No, it didn't one hit Chandelure! Come on! How did it not one hit Chandelure? Come on! I have to bring in Halberd now! Mold Breaker, so screw that. The epilogue of this story is about to begin. It sure is. Jesus. And there's your Forest Store. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, here we go then. Here we go then! Let's see if you can survive an earthquake. I don't think you can. I do not think you can. Ah, oh, fair play. Well done. Congrats. But I'm quicker than you! Because Halbert is quicker than you! Beaten! Yeah! Halbert wins, Chantal Tavid. Wow, I'm stunned. For all the words I know, I can't figure out how to say this, put my feelings into words. Blah blah blah. Money! Sorry. First, I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is how battles are. Even like that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. 
All right, so that's two of the Elite Four members done. And in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon White, we will take out the other two in the final part. I'll see you then.